Gentlemen, once again, welcome to my channel. This is Tajuddin Kasim with you and uh, we have an awesome topic today. Should you wish to turn your forklift into a multi-purpose industrial handling tool, there is always a solution with us. Yes, we need to save our time and cost in our routine job. Uh, we wanted to reduce our operators uh, stress and increase his productivity. Uh, of course, we need to have solutions to increase our efficiency and uh, add more flexibility uh, in our business. Yes, today's topic is about uh, using suitable attachments to forklifts. This is a very sensitive area in the forklift industry uh, where we should focus on a number of different parameters such as uh, the objective of a specific clamp attachment, uh, type of load and also its dimensions, uh, the number of hydraulic functions required, uh, some accessories uh, and attachments uh, which are required to mount the clamp, uh, also ISO class of carriage and so on. Before uh, using an attachment, we must ensure that the attachment must suit the track we are fitting into. Also, it should be suitable for uh, the type of load we are lifting. Uh, you know, it must be properly attached to the forklift uh, with a suitable uh, locking device. Well, there are plenty of forklift attachments uh, which, is, which are available uh, for specific uh, industrial jobs. One of the most common attachments that most people know, uh, they are about side shifters and uh, four positioners or fork shifters. Uh, now, let us look at the side shifters. You know, side shifting uh, is the process of moving the forks uh, along with the carriage to certain distance, you know, to the left or the right. It means uh, we have uh, the assembly of forks and carriage uh, moving as one unit uh, on either side. Uh, you know, size shifting, uh, which provides high precision to stacking operations. Also, you know, the size, I mean, the forklift operator uh, does not need to bother always uh, the exact positioning of the track. It means size shifting is very useful uh, for uh, when operating in a very tight environments. Also, uh, it is very suitable for uh, positioning loads uh, on uh, racking uh, without having to move the forklift itself. In short, uh, the side shifter is operated by two-way hydraulic cylinders. The driver shifting a lever uh, attached to a spool valve. So side shifters are uh, either supplied by the manufacturer uh, as an in integral unit uh, to the forklift mechanism, or it is supplied by a dealer, you know, as an additional uh, attachment. If the side shifters are integral part of the forklift, which is designed and built by the manufacturer, the residual capacity is mentioned on the load chart. So this information is easily available to you. If not, your dealer uh, can add an attachment and you should be aware of the residual capacity of the forklift. This is because uh, the side shifters increase the weight of the forklift uh, and shifting the load center outwards. You know, the load center is a distance from the face of the forks to the load center of gravity. 
you know many forklifts are rated uh, using a say 600 millimeters load center you know which is which means the load's center of gravity must be 600 millimeters or less from the face of the fox this in fact is the center point of a standard pallet say 1200 by 1200 millimeters uh, it is important to ensure that the size shifter we have chosen will match with the backrest. Also, uh, we should take some caution, you know, when using uh, various attachments on four clips. Uh, but, you know, we have to take into account their center of gravity. In general, uh, you know, side shifters are well suited for you know, poorly sighted workplaces. And uh, it gives a, you know, lateral displacement of say 200 millimeters. Uh, we can find the size shifters uh, in single or double units, uh, depending on uh, whether we wanted to handle uh, one or two pallets simultaneously. You know, it helps to stack the loads properly. Uh, on the racks and also it reduces uh, the risk of uh, loads uh, falling off the racks. Uh, if you look at in most of the warehouses where the aisles are narrow, you know, tailback uh, accidents are common. When we use a side shift, such accidents uh, can be prevented because, uh, you know, the forklift remains uh, stationary and just the lot is being uh, moved. Uh, now let us see the four positioners. A four positioner, you know, allows uh, to hydraulically move the forks, you know, closer together or further apart, individually or together. So it is very useful uh, when you have to handle a variety of uh, pallet sizes. Uh, four positioners, you know, are commonly used in industries such as, uh, say, steel, agriculture, paper, construction, food and beverages, and a plenty of other industries. Here, the driver does not need to get out of his seat, you know, to manually adjust the forks. And so, he is saving his valuable time. Uh, this is very much required as we consider higher capacity forklifts, where you know it is not an easy job to manually you know shift the forks, uh, which are uh, in fact longer and uh, also very heavy. Also, uh, it will be reducing damage uh, to pallets and also the products. You know the four positioners are most commonly used in uh, combination with side shifters, you know, as an integral unit. Uh, even though, you know, it can be uh, used with or without side shifters as well. Uh, it can also be supplied with, you know, 360 degree rotation for some uh, applications. You know, there are four positioners built to handle wider loads where, you know, the forks can uh, spread beyond the width of the track. The main application of the fork positioner is the handling of pallets uh, having, you know, different dimensions. You know, it is essential. It is an essential tool uh, since, you know, the width of the load varies uh, and pallets of different widths has to be handled on uh, regular basis in warehouses. So in general, you know, the forks can be either uh, adjusted manually or using a four positioner. In either case, picking up an uh, off-center lot needs extra care. As we know that, you know, tipping over of the machine could be really dangerous. Also, we should ensure that the forks can be uh, positioned, say, two-thirds of the length of the load 
otherwise there is always a risk of uh, dropping off the lot in four positioning we should also ensure that you know the folks don't go beyond the pallet because it can damage the other pallet you know closely stacked now we are going to look at uh, the four rotators you know rotators allow us to rotate the forks uh, on our track you know in a safe and efficient manner to rotate you know uh, for uh, dumping materials you know rotators can turn uh, between say 180 degrees to 360 degrees most rotators are used you know where bins or containers are stored and uh, they are transported you know the rotators have a bin or basket <clears throat> that carries the load and dumping into another container when you use a rotator you know we can improve productivity and uh, we can lower uh, the downtime you know when dumping uh, loads uh, the rotators are widely used in uh, say metal scrap industries uh, food processing industries, uh, you know, automobile manufacturing uh, plants, uh, chemical processing plants, uh, recycling operations, uh, also in uh, smelting, uh, casting operations, and in general manufacturing process, or anywhere uh, it is necessary to dump uh, bins. Uh, there are various rotators. There are various rotator attachments uh, such as box rotators, uh, plastic container rotators, rotators with uh, hydraulic bin retainers, rotators with or without side shift and various combinations uh, which you can find in the market. Rotators can be equipped with a four carriage and fox. Also, there is possibility to att attach uh, clamps. Uh, also booms uh, or other uh, load handling attachments uh, you know there are many varieties of attachments to suit different needs and each need I mean each one needs a close study of the application should you feel you have some applications please share your thought with us and we will get back to you with cost effective solutions uh, hoping that you have enjoyed this session and uh, thank you for watching god willing we will be meet meeting soon with the next part and uh, this is Tadun Kasim signing off and goodbye